Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, today we're talking about F-150 pickups and how to unlatch the back seat of your F-150 pickup. I'm actually thinking about doing some overland type modifications and improvements to my little F-150 and that starts with extra storage space. A lot of F-150 owners are not aware of this, but there's actually hidden storage space behind this seat. You just can't get to it. On the passenger side, Ford was kind enough. Hold on, let me open the door. So over here on the passenger side, Ford was kind enough to take advantage of that and provide us with the storage for the jack behind the seat. And you can see there's there's quite a bit of, of space back there. And of course, you know, you have your space down here, what little bit there is, but when you hit the brakes, it all slides forward. So after watching a number of YouTube videos yesterday, and spending two hours realizing that most of those YouTube videos didn't pertain to my F-150, I figured out the solution. Hold on. I realized. My fingers are too big, hold on. Okay, we're almost back. Most of the YouTube videos that I watch that address unlatching the back seat of the F-150 were for a, for a different back seat. What they show is you pick this up and the back seat drops. Well, as you can see in mine, <laughs> It, it doesn't work that way. And now that latch is right in here. And so I spent several hours yesterday trying to figure out how to get in there. And it helps to take the headrest off. And there are two buttons on the same side. Hold on. All right, so right here, there are two buttons that you push. You fold it over and then that comes out. So now you got to reach back here. And there's there's just enough room. There's there's really barely enough room to stick your fingers down there. And if, if you got big man hands, you're going to have you're not going to be able to reach that latch. I finally ran across a video they said, this is the magic, this is the magic wand. And he was right. And I'll show you why. Now I've, I've done my own little retrofit here so that I can always pop that out. But here's what we're looking at. This is the latch. And as you can see, I've, I've outfitted it with a pull. This is what it latches on to, the post. And there's a bracket that goes on both sides of the latch. So what we're looking at here is a pretty simple latch mechanism. Where I have my, my wire connected, this little post, is what you're going to want to hook on to with the box wrench. It, it, it's a bit of a challenge because the latch post has the metal on both sides. So when you come in, you have to come down and then rotate, kind of kind of shift it to the right to pull up and 
and then catch the little post. Now, as you can see, I've out, I've retrofitted mine with a little, with a wire pull, heavy wire pull. That's actually a clothes hanger wire. You can buy a retrofitted kit that will go on here. It just snaps on and it's, but for me that works just fine as long as you keep it up when you're pushing the seat back into place. So that is how you unlatch the back seat on an F-150. It's not difficult and it should not have taken me two hours to, to, to get the answer to that. Hopefully this will save you some time and frustration. Hey, if, it, it, if you've had challenges with this in the past or if you've done any kind of modifications on the backseat of your F-150, post a comment down there and tell us how what you're doing with your F-150. I'm, I'm just curious to know because I got some plans for what I'm gonna do back here. So anyway, if this video was enjoyable, entertaining, and helpful, please consider giving me a thumbs up. That really helps with the video dissemination by YouTube. The algorithm loves them thumbs up. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd appreciate you considering subscribing. Most of all, I want to say thank you to those of you who have been following along and most especially to my patrons. Thank you so very much. That's why I do what I do. As you can see, I've got Miss V here in front of the house. That means we're going to be going on the road again. You're not going to want to miss those. It's a couple of Texas state parks coming down the pipe. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?